Hello, 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 and welcome here to St. Mayor Iglese. My name is Berserker. I'll be your caster for today, taking a look at the map for these two teams on the rollout. Well, we can only see the axis. Unfortunately, one day, I'm crossing fingers that we can also see the allies. Uh, we have armor starting off at the bottom. Well, recon. Let's be real. Uh, the DC crew is all piling in. Ernest, Curdy, Achilles, NVIDIA, and Wakanda, perhaps, who's leading the charge with that recon squad there. We also have a medium tank coming out from Burn, Picasso, and Sengir here. Uh, transport truck coming out with lots of 38th Infantry and 501 ES from Spain. We also have on the north side, DC truck, another truck with 82nd AD, and a tank with uh, Crack A... That middle name is hard to pronounce. Krauterman and Alice as the last one inside that tank for 38th Infantry. Let's get inside the game here. As the Axis. A little late to the first point. Like we expected, though, the Allies are moving to challenge on the north side. Rocket goes out, going to miss onto the Allied truck. Second vehicle coming around the corner there. Scipio going to go down almost immediately right here. Thirty percent cap progress for the allies coming out. That's not unexpected. But we're really determine whether the Axis can get back into this one if they can get a position to uh, cap on the north side. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. To Chang is actually going to go on a flank around the backside here. Hellbro, the Chang's looking the wrong way there. Hellbro notices him. They both miss each other. How does that happen? The Chang completely goes by KPE and Hellbro. I don't know how that's possible. In the fog of war though, I guess anything can happen. On the north side here, DC's trying to fight into point, not having so much luck right now, kind of sandwiched between two uh, allied squads and 70% rising on the cap progress. It looks like it's gonna be an allied first point here. Very, very common for that to happen. St. Mary Glees is almost exclusively, uh, if the allies get it right, it's almost exclusively under their control. Now on the backside, there was a tank going down. That was gonna be a Puma. So the Puma of uh, Curdy, the DC Puma recon going down there. A uh, good positioning from the medium tank to take them out. Uh, DC infantry is still on point here and decapping. Wow. They stalled the cap momentarily here. Let's see if they can fight into this one and get a better OP and get better position on this point. Unfortunately, that cap stall was only momentary as there is the three two. the allies do take the first point here on this Greyhound night. Nice try from DC. Nice try from 82nd AD. Unfortunately, it's just so hard as the Axis to get to that midpoint. Taking a look at the map to see the layout of the, the points. As we said, Russo to Firm on the south side and then Flak position on the north. The other points sandwiched between. I really like this layer, honestly. I think this is a pretty decent layer here. Uh, we can see... Dashuna going off the map a little bit to come around for a backside garrison. Very much the front line is still on the midpoint right here. However, the only tank up right now in the battle is going to be that 38th Lukes, which is on the south side here. There is a Panther now coming out from the DC crew. We are going to be able to pick up a POV off that DC crew also. Uh, luckily, we had them on the stream yesterday in the, in the POV slot. Get a little closer in on this battle here. BC, of course, having to fall back a little bit. They've lost their position on the midpoint here. Trying to set up a front line. North and south here. Not so easy, though. Lots of uh, allied infantry actually pushing straight in to where the Axis want to be.
Truma having a hard time getting positioned for his squad here. He's going to have to fight into multiple allies right here. Not going to be easy. Ooh, Satchel in the middle from Alex. Going to clear out a couple bodies there from the Axis, opening a little hole here and trade goes down from that assault onto Truma. However, DC still have a secondary OP here, but they are on the back foot in terms of uh, getting pushed towards their fourth point. Valley going to clear out that DC squad, though. Did he get the LP, too? Yes, there it is. However, spawns do come in after Reason and 91 DK are in. However, the OP's down, so no more squad lead there. Squad leaders going to have to rotate back. Uh, constantly losing ground here is the Axis in the middle, and we're getting pretty close to, to touching distance at this point. That is not good news. Taking a look at the map to see positioning right now. That Lux on the south side has gone down. Uh, the Panther is falling back a little bit here. Looks like there is a light tank trying to flank it on the back side. Quickly, we can go check out that little fight here. Oh, no. The Greyhound has got himself stuck, and he's going to go down. Gauss from 38 is going to claim that one. There's a second vehicle spotted, and it's going to be a steward here from Ark. Now, taking a quick look at the map, we can see that the Panther's going to be directly in front of us here. This steward's not in an optimal position, honestly. He's going to have to drive and tiptoe around this area. Stewart getting himself a little caught where is that panther panther's gonna be coming here for the steward first bombing run gonna drop near point there it looks like a an axis bombing run just from here taking a look at the map right now yeah it is an axis bombing run the panther's coming back the steward's playing games the game of cat and mouse over here on the back side of this one this panther is gonna take out this steward in just a few seconds though steward gonna take the wrong path here Oh, no, the Panther turns around. Stewart has an awesome opportunity in the back of the Panther. Oh, no. One shot in. Driver's going to get out of this one, I believe. Just ricocheting the second shot off right there. Ooh. Panther's having some issues dealing with that. Stewart. Stewart can have pull and push. Sorry, push up straight where the Panther was. Ooh, that's not a good idea for the... Stewart here. He is going to have some issues coming around this corner right here. Truly a game of cat and mouse right here. In the Stewart today is uh, Conquer, Velak, and Toby. Now this is this is actually great play here from the Stewart. They are drawing so much time out of this Panther on the front line to be back here dealing with this. So much time. And not only that, the Panther's damaged. So after this engagement's over, they're going to have to repair here. Um, really nice play from the Stewart. Honestly, pinning this Panther down at the backside. We thought that it was going to be an easy kill for the Panther. If they had just stayed facing forward there, uh, they would have had it. But they decided to turn around there. And that's leaving them in kind of an awkward position. They don't want to immediately hop out and repair there. Because the Stewart could flank, decrew them, and then really run circles around them here. Uh, let's go back to the midpoint, though, because that bombing run looked like it was going to be uh, doing something there. Yeah, it actually did clear out a, a bunch of that pushing that pushing allies team. You can see how further back they are right now. However, still only one squad, not even a full squad here against maybe two and a half squads. It's going to be very difficult to fight into for the Axis. They're going to have quite a hard time defending. Uh, looking on the midpoint here, uh, continuous drive-bys by the medium. 
check, I don't think he's going to be able to get the... Able to get anything off that one. Uh, chill Music communicates an indie in that medium right there for the Greyhounds. I'm very concerned, though, about this push from the allies here. Only Cahoots is back. Kalgan's there. Now, they're, importantly, none of those guys on the north side are actually squad leaders. So the, the potential of the, the, the respawns into this push isn't huge. I mean, Daidso's on the back there. That's 12. Uh, six people in a squad, including the squad leader. You can tell by the little chevrons there on Calgan. So it's not the worst thing, but that's still a, a massive blob of infantry. Okay, Fryles there. This is starting to get really concerning if I am uh, the Axis here. Axis just not in a position, not putting enough infantry into this one. Checking out the map to see where they are. I mean, there's only one OP between them and the point, and no Garys up here. Garys on the north, on the south. No Gary on point. No Gary behind point. There's a huge blob on the north and the south for St. Mary Glees, but they're not really doing anything, especially on this north side. They're not they're not committing, uh, sorry, they're not pressuring the cap point right now. They're separated from it. So this force is very, very dangerous here, pushing into western approach. Now, if they can get down here, if they can clear this or push around the backside here, which I think they might want to do, then yes, that's some intense pressure, but for right now, it's 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 just not enough to dissuade this this force up the mid. However, 82nd AD, seemingly out of nowhere, I, I guess they had an OP in the middle here that wasn't overrun because they all spawning in here, pushing north and south to clear this out. Trading kills here and there, Shifty. Ooh, Shifty's not just trading; he's got a couple on that one. 82nd with a nice little OP placement over here. It's it's in a good spot so that nobody running by can really take it out. That's probably why it was missed there. Um, you can see it's got distance on either side. So even if someone's on the other side of this building here, it's not going to go down. Um, good OP placement from, from 82nd AD, really relieving a lot of that pressure that was coming on on the point. Fryal still is in a decent position with his squad. But Cahoots and the rest of that 82nd squad really being a thorn in the side here. Chang actually might have found this OP, and he's going to go and crush it right here. He's right on top of it. There we go. OP is down. Cahoots is still up here. He'll be able to rotate this OP again, and I think that's exactly what he'll do here, possibly. Yeah, <laughs> just whips out, the, uh, whips out the compass, puts the new OP down. I can't quite see where it is. I don't know if he actually went for it or not. Maybe he's going to try to fall back here. Unfortunately, he's going to get caught out by Daiso and taken down. Um, nades come out to that position where he was. We'll see if there's any spawns coming in from there. I couldn't quite make out any OPs that were put down, though. So checking out the map again. Looks like that Panther is finally coming to point. Um, we have two Panthers and a... And a Panzer 4 out. We have the POV of one of the Panthers right here. Let's hop on board. DC's very own Curdy here in the gun of the Panther. Not a whole lot to be seen there from that uh, POV. No fights on point right now for this Panther. There are some shots to the left here, panning to the left to see. I can hear, oh no, that is not good. Is that a 76? 
going down. No, that's a Panther going down. A flanking medium tank is going to take out one of the Panthers. Oh no. What a flank though by this, uh, this medium. That is not something you see often. Down goes one of the Panthers, checking the map to see with the positioning of the other tanks. Both tanks are kind of rotated off here. That is a huge win here for the allies. You do not see that very often. Uh, I'm just kind of surprised the Panther didn't here. Maybe the tank was just a little further back there, but uh, great, great driving, gunning, and uh, commanding from that tank to take out the Panther there. Really unsuspecting. Um, that's going to be quite concerning for both tanks on point here. Panzer IV is pretty good positioned on the south side here with uh, Alice, uh, Krauterman, and Krak. Krake. Apologies, I'm not German, so I don't uh, know those names exactly properly. Try my best. Shout out to Alice's uh, dad in the crowd, though. I heard he was uh, <clears throat> he was watching, possibly watching. So shout out to you, sir. Hope you're having a great day today. Hopefully, we can see some uh, good good takedowns from that Panzer IV right now. Normandy one on point right here. Oof. Gonna get sandwiched there by Gauss and Mordecai. Not too much going in terms of the attack. I mean, they, they did get one Panther, and that's a huge win. No, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. However, just that, that push kind of stalled out. You know, uh, 82nd AD did enough, I think, coming from the middle uh, of those two teams to, to break it up. Checking a look at the map again. Yeah, this Panther below us is very much concerned with what's on the backside here. Sorry, the Panzer IV. Uh, I believe that allied tank has fallen back, though. I'm pretty sure they're not with us anymore. There is a tank battle going on in the back right here, though. Um, that actually is going to be the medium here going and camping the HQ of the Axis. Did they get a Lux? Oh, no, that's a Panther right now with Deshuna riding on top. Oh, no, that is not good. Sengir, Picasso, and Burnt are very angry that they lost a Panther, and they are coming for revenge right here. Oh, just scuffing the shot right there. The Shuna on top acting as a UAV. I think this is going to be the end here for the medium tank. Yes, it is. They go down. No more shenanigans from them. Panther in the backside going to clean that up, but still great value for that tank. I mean, really punching above its weight to get down the Panther the first time. It's unfortunate they can transition that into something else. Now, looking on the backside right here, Chris going to get up to some sneaky, sneaky stuff. He's going to be looking for OPs, Gary placements from the enemy, maybe a possible uh, Gary for himself. Gauss does spot him out. Going to pop out of the... Or not. I keep thinking people have spotted each other, but Gauss... Oh, there. Chris goes down anyways from somebody else. I think Penguin there on that one. Good job so far, though, of defending. Uh, we'll see if they can do it again, though, because Ark is pushing again. Now, two Ark squads on this one. 82nd AD does have position on the right side of our screen right now in the town. And what they can do is, is simply rotate north and, and cut back and maybe give up that position. But... Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. They want to go for the attack, too. They don't want to just sit back on defense the whole game. Now, this Panther is going to throw a wrench into that plan from Ark. They're going to need AT. Not only the Panther right in front of us uh, that this infantry attacking has to worry about, but there is a, a tank you can see shelling from our rear on the left side. Let's go look at the attack shaping up for St. Mary Glees because we do have some cap progress. Helbro is actually running across the middle of the courtyard here. Not something you see very often. Usually that's caught out by a machine gunner or shooters from either side 
of the point. At 20% and climbing here, we're kind of perhaps on the backside, looking to break up this attack with NVIDIA. Now, Garrison is marked out for Wakanda right here. Let us go on board with him to see if he can get this one. This would be a huge play from the backside here for the DC squad lead. Right on the Gary, going to vault over. Flex BB's coming back for it. Oh, Wakanda just losing that 1v1 right there. Not going to be able to get the Gary, but the Gary is marked. That is absolutely massive. His sniper partner should be able to rotate and help with this one. Uh, NVIDIA is a little far away. If that garrison was taken out there, that probably would have been the point. So big play to save it right here. Um, ammunition being dropped behind point. It is not an airhead. However, there is another Herod being dropped right here on point. I'm not too sure if this is a... We have to double check the positioning of this airhead right here. Because it looks like it's going to land directly on the church. Almost. Backline bombing run. That's just used simply to take out the Gary. We'll follow this airhead down. It looks like it's going to land just in the doorway here. in Inside the church. What? What? Have you ever seen something this crazy before? It goes down immediately there. Unfortunately, there's no satchel or anything to clear at the church. But that airhead went inside the church, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, that's something I haven't seen yet. I was definitely a, a sneaky move there. There is a... There is an engineer that just went down outside the church. I wonder if he has a satchel. Oh, the timing. If that was just only about 30 seconds earlier if the satchel does go off that could have been huge here for the axis team looking a little bit on the back side here looks like the panther has some infantry company here however nobody that's going to pose a real threat well i take that back roy arishand and normandy won both pose a huge threat right here. Now, Normandy is going the wrong way. He's looking for the tank on the north side. He should be on the south side. The tank already went past. Now, Roy is already there. However, let's go on board with the Ark, man. Trench shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. He hit at least twice with that shotgun. I, I've never seen a shotgun. Must have just clipped him because I've never seen a shotgun not one hit from, from like close to medium range. Very unfortunate there for him, though. Uh, Spoikulia, Madison also in the mix. However, just not able to get that AT on to target here. Uh, this Panther's in a, a little pickle. Now, if Roy can get back here again, he will have free reign onto this Panther. He just has to vault over one more wall. Here comes the satchel. No, it is taking out infantry cahoots on the backside. Going to be the guardian angel of this panther for now. Uh, this panther is in kind of a rough spot right here. Surrounded by infantry. I don't know if there's any intel about the positioning of the OP that's kind of right in front of us right here from Ark. You'd think if there was, he would fall back and just throw an HE into it and that would be it. More cap progress on the midpoint, though, as that heats up. We'll rotate over there after we see if the allies can take out this panther here. Roy Arishan coming back in again. Going to be significantly harder with the infantry presence here. Allied bombing run going to drop on the backside. Let's get a little bigger perspective for you guys there. I don't think there's anything with that. Roy, though, is on the back. He's playing Ring Around the Rosie with Ernest right here. Now, little does Roy know that Ernest is actually diffusing the satchel. So the satchel did get planted. It's going to get diffused right here. There we go. Pump shotgun put to good work. Unfortunately, Roy's 
going to have to respawn again because that satchel is not going to work out. He's going to patch up and try. Now for the panther here, he just kind of needs to fall back. He doesn't know that there's a pull there. And actually, there's going to be no second chances here for that one because Mike Lawrence has crushed the OP. He goes for a triple kill right there. Triple takedown and gets the OP. So that threat is going to be a little neutralized now. Ooh, something's blown up over here on the north side. Stewart has position right here on the Panzer IV. That Stewart has been just terrorizing uh, this map so far. Let's go on board. It is the Ark Stewart of Conquer Toby and Valak right here. They're going to go for a, a big little flank around on this one and come back behind that Panzer IV. That's probably the, the idea behind it. Just an absolute terror on the light tank for the Allies. When? When are the Axis going to get the Panzer 38T? Why, why are they stuck with the Lux at the, the light tank roll? Not quite seen where that P4 went. Looks like he's... Oh, he does go down to the rocket. Okay. So props on the rocket there. That was... Who was that? Well, looks like he's no longer with us. Probably one of the Greyhounds. Greyhound AT. Uh, going for the play right there. Fairly balanced game, though. We, th we, we said it was going to be pretty balanced. I, I don't see too much between these two teams apart from the advantage on the St. Mary Glees, which, honestly, that, that point is biased it, there there is a advantage towards allies so it's not surprising that they did take it first time um looking at the map though that that north south flank is essentially being crushed this is not great if you are the axis here all of their forces concentrated in the middle um their northern garrisons going down their southern is completely open uh garrisons only in the next sector over here so not the best if you are the axis they really had to pull everything back. And they've lost both of their flanks too. So no airheads, no bombing runs for the Axis here. This is going to be about getting as wide as you can um, while still holding the mid here. If they can hold their sector on the middle while also getting as wide as they can on the south side here and holding it and maybe taking back the north side here. That's, that's really what they need to do right now. 82nd AD is trying to do that as best as they can. However, going up against a, a Stuart with a, an infantry squad is going to be tough. I mean, Yaku is up there, and he's a very, very skilled. Well, I mean, he was up there. He is a very skilled AT, but you're not going to be able to beat that. Kieran also, bush camping. Well, we actually have two bush campers over here. Uh, Kieran and Feast, both are one with the bush. Unfortunately, I think Feast just cannot quite see out of his bush as cleanly as he'd like to right now. Kieran's going to run back around the backside of the bush and reset into it. And this is what uh, competitive Hell Out Loose is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Bush camping. I would love if bushes were dynamic to people entering them. Like, they would ruffle and birds would fly out of the tree nearby um that Stuart got pretty cheeky he's gonna go down there to the dc tank from curdy we can actually hop on board with his pov here and see what it looked like from his perspective That was a pretty nice shot. Uh, it's, it's not easy to hit those shots on the move like that. Not at all. Still holding the mid. I'm surprised he hasn't been precision struck right now. Uh, what the precision strike is for those who are new to Hello Loose, welcome if you are new. Uh, it is a commander ability that allows them to drop a bomb from either a Stuka or I believe a Mosquito Bomber uh, right onto point. And oh my gosh, they just took out a second tank. They legit just took out that second 76 right there, not even looking. I didn't see him at all. 
Let's go back on board. Apologies, that was not a 76. That is another medium going down. Um, but, you know, the Panther is heating up right here from the DC crew. They really need to get dealt with here by the allies. Otherwise, they're going to be a terror now. Roy has decided to go for the assault class this time to push that tank. However, unfortunately, there's lots of infantry between him and his target. And he does end up going down. Fee's going to claim the takedown on that one. Still surprised. No precision bomb coming down for that Panther. Gonna take a quick look at the map here. Now there are, there is a new renowned, a new attack coming here from the south. Uh, also, Wakanda has found his way onto point right here, and it's gonna be causing chaos. So expect this maybe attack to come wide here, around the cemetery and from the back, or straight up here onto the south side, and maybe put a few people behind. It's very hard to just cap from the south here. You really want to get into that strong cap. And the only building on the strong cap is right here on the church or on the north side. There's a little bit in the building there too. Bees is holding the tight angle there, but Kyer is actually going to get Stylex up in the background. Not often you see Medic play. Panthers. Looking north there, the machine hull gunner should be able to see Kyer there. The GL is going to realize that puts him in a, a tough little spot here without smoke. No real opportunity to, to push that panther. He's going to have to sit back in the bush here and just support. little more luck pushing on the north side here is the arc crew however they are met with a mg42 up in the window there that's gonna be very difficult to deal with axe is gonna throw out a defensive bombing run to try and stop this attack but it is heating up to fever pitch right here vadi has actually rotated uh he keeps rotating windows which is a really good idea for that mg42 constantly make the enemy guess where you're at where you're you're shooting from that is really on fire with that mg right now lux also going to be joining the party here you can hear that oomph of the 20 mil as it connects with its targets bombing run coming in from the allies the panther's actually fighting another tank here you're gonna have to fall back on this one uh, enemy armor 76 gonna take out the panther here as they push this attack on the front line 
Conquer, Toby, and Valnick traded in their light tank for a 76 and are now looking to push and take this point. That was a nice takedown onto the Panther while it was distracted with infantry. Seventy six taking shot from the right side here. Can't quite pick out where that Panther is that's shooting it. There he is, all the way in the back. It's not even a Panther, it is a Panzer IV here. Nice position all the way back here. However, you can see that red. That red parachute on the south. Ooh, this is a tough airhead. I don't know if I love this airhead here because, yes, it's good position. If the allies get a machine gunner in this uh, in this house on the left side here, all they need to do to stop this airhead from happening is get a couple machine gunners right here. It's so Im almost impossible. It's an insurmountable effort to try and push across this open field. Um, and you're going to see why right now. Alter Ego pushing down from the west. Flex BB in the in the east. Quick also joining here from 126. Oh, we didn't get it. We picked the wrong road. <laughs> My bad. I knew it was coming for the 76. I just picked the wrong road of where the plane ended up my apologies but the 76 does go down and that is the power of the commander strike now a full 82nd ad squad is getting onto point right here um i don't know how but there were shooters on the west and the east and they they went and they they got taken down no machine gunner up only riflemen still only riflemen respawning here from 126 it's going to be tough to defend. I mean, right now what you need. Okay, you've lost the church. Immediately satchel it from the north. It's going to be hard with Ghost Recon in that position, but that's the first thing you got to do right away. Um, you got to get a machine gun up on the two-story also. Now, I do like what Alter Ego and Calf are doing on the backside here with his pressure, but that needs to be matched. Now, there's the offensive satchel that goes in. That might have taken a few bodies with it. Also, Colstad on the backside. This is a very dangerous flank right here. Greyhound is back defending. This might just be the Axis' point. I mean, Colstad is in such a good position right now to stop those infantry that come back in. We can see right here. He's going to be able to peek on them to take them out to stall them from coming in. Ghost Recon also on the flank. Supplies dropped on point. Not too sure if they're going to go for a garrison right on point here for the as soon as it flips. Um, you know, credit to the Axis for sticking to their guns. They got the smoke out. They got the OPs up. They put enough bodies there. The Allies not respecting that push. I'm um, not getting any machine gunners up. Not getting enough shooters out there to, to stop that push. Scipio getting a nasty double on the backside. Could be securing this point for the Axis. There it is. Down goes the OP. And that just might be the point here for the Axis. Honestly, I don't think there's too much they can do. They're going to try to do an emergency Gary on the north side, but there's nobody here to put it up. Nobody here on the north side at all for the allies to be able to put that up. They do stall right at the end. But I, I think that's only a temporary measure. And the Axis are going to take this one 3-2 here on Greyhound Knight. Alice pushing, helping out with infantry here. Oh, no, 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 no. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made there, Alice. Oh, no. Uh, Sultan Vaddy on point. Fluff. I mean, have they saved it? No, there's no way. There's no way the Axis don't get this.
mean, they've saved it. They've done it. The Axis get bogged down on the south. They can't push across. And I'm honestly shocked, but I'm not entirely shocked because it's just so hard. Look at the reinforcements. So they get cleared off of the point. Look at what they have to cross to get back on it. I guess I'm proved right. The airhead on the south, the play and the push from the south, they don't work. It just doesn't work. There's not enough cover. There's not enough buildings and broken tanks and trucks and just stuff in the way where you can cross that reliably and get to the church into the strong cap. And there's no buildings in the strong cap on the south side. Um, maybe with this panther, though. Maybe. All the allies have to do is keep respawning, though. They can throw the bodies in, and if they have a bombing run right now, they can easily clear out the rest of this team. Vadi getting yeeted out of existence. Here comes the second push. Uh-oh, here might be that bombing run we were talking about. No, it's going to be precision strike. Down goes the Panther. Good night. Finally coming out from the allies oh that's rough that is very rough here um this is still like a like a 60 40 fight for the allies so the axis are going to persist i don't know if that's going to work out for them though not looking like it right now if anybody can get to that church and satchel it they might be able to do it but that's a that's a massive but Seventy six pulls up to point. Quickly want to look at the map to see if that Panzer IV. Yeah, the Panzer IV was taken out also, so there's no flanking Panzer IV. Um, unfortunately for the Axis, this one's going to be over. They are not going to get the point here. They are not going to pass go and collect two hundred dollars. And it's the, it's the South. You need to have a Northern presence or or a backside presence. Either or. Unfortunately, the St. Mary Glue's point, the south just isn't enough. I would love to see some trenches on the point itself to make this fight a little easier. I don't know if that's historically accurate, though, for there to be dug-in trenches on the point. I think that would add a, a lot to the fight, though. Um, like, a, like a trench network system on the point where people can actually push it and not just get domed from, from every which way. Now... This 76 got to be careful. Stayed from 82nd AD here is on the flank. Now, I'm not too sure if he has a satchel or... Ooh, he's going to have a satchel. He's going to go for it too. Let's go on the third person here. Stayed goes for a satchel onto this arc. 76. He's got it out. Going for the plant. Oh, he gets taken down at the last second there. Arc tank has a guardian angel. Who is that going to be? I think it was Kendrick. Maybe Weltmeister. Yeah, Weltmeister on the backside there. The guardian angel of the tank. Going to prevent it from going down. Good play from him. Oh, man. Got a feel for the AT there from 82nd. He was so close to getting that plant off. Uh, rotating back to the attack on the fourth point from the allies onto the axis here. Still kind of not grainy, gaining any ground from Ark. They... Are still in the same spot they've been in for a while. Haven't made too much progress off this one, despite the pressure on their backside. Uh, it doesn't look like the axe is traded position for position on point. They, they've maintained their defensive position and pressure here, and it looks pretty good. Now, Judge is on the south doing some sneaky stuff right there. Not too sure what he's up to, but I want to go investigate if I was commander right here for the allies, I would definitely... Ooh, he's setting up Garys? There's no Gary here. He sees those supplies in the field. There's no reason to take out supplies from the enemy. If you, um... If you're doing sneaky stuff behind the lines... 
Now he's just gonna drop that. He's not he gonna not gonna put a Gary up. He already has one over here. Oh, sorry. This is uh this is the the allies commander, not the Axis. There was a garrison right here that I he missed. If I double check the map, yes, it's right in the middle of the field right there. So misses one of the defensive garrisons. Gonna go for a deep friendly garrison here. Now. I didn't see if he dropped one over there. I would have preferred him to drop another piece of supplies up uh, in the middle. Maybe even go for the take on the Gary. That would be that'd be a crazy dangerous play though. In terms of like airheads or bombing runs here, yeah, very hard if you if you airhead behind the point. I, I don't see it work often. Scipio getting told to sit down there by Chang. In your face moment. I mean, uh, Scipio was definitely going for the uh, the satchel onto the 76. Shifty right at the top, acting as a uh, top mounted ATGM. Bombing run dropping from the backside onto point. Remember that play I said was tough, difficult, and not ideal? Well, the allies are going for it right here from the backside. The the position is not ideal, just too open. There's no cover. The grain field's gonna help a little bit with this, but when the machine guns have elevation, it, it kind of negates the advantage of the grain field. You can see when they make it just to the edge, they're getting taken out instantly there. This attack could could possibly work a lot better also if the this smoke was on the positions the defenders are using like the house the house in the uh, little courtyard here if the uh, the allies could smoke that they might be able to get a little more ground here but i mean it's gonna be really difficult 
quickly checking the map to see what the Axis are doing on their attack. Again, from the South 82nd AD, has position. Um, Wakanda from the backside with NVIDIA too. It's tough though. I don't, I don't, I don't love them coming from the South again. We'll see what they do decide. Lord of the Dead with a nasty machine gun position right here. Look at this. He's vaulted outside and he's got a, an angle down. Down the road right here. Oh yeah. Oh, Reese. Reese does not want to be there right now. He's going to get taken out by Pang Pang on the flank. Nice little spot there for MG though. Meta Flare coming out over top here to spot out the attackers. However, this attack is mostly over kind of before it started right here. DC defenders pushing into the side of this one. Right on top of the circle OP. That's going to go down right there. Pang Pang, Kieran going to meet on the flank also. Ooh, Kieran getting the best of Pang there. This attack, though, is, is almost completely contained. I think the worry is for the axis here that they'll get pushed on both sides not happening right now uh, not effectively at least on the flip side of things here Hellbro again on the south side trying to push here and force the issue he's going to get into 1v1 with Calgan Let's go on board with him. Oh, Elbro with the flick. I'd love to see him just flank around the back side of the point right here and get position on the back. As a uh, German goes flying off of a roof. We're all going to be going upstairs here. Ah, many things in this house. Razbor has an MP40. Alpine Sniper has a... a gun there. Is there anything else? Berserkast doesn't have a microphone anywhere. I see how it is. Oh, there's a tank in the beer. Too easy. In the toilet there. In the sorry, the bathtub. And there's also, as we go downstairs, an OP outside. Battle is gonna set his OP up. Let's head back over to the fourth here. I'm gonna have to check the map to see who that was. Yeah, that was a, an Axis bombing run. That's right, the Allies have just done one. Defensive bombing run there, not really doing too much to break up the attack or much of anything, honestly. It, it just gives them a little time. Would have loved to see that used on the attack here. They have two Panthers. Uh, now, St. Mary Glees isn't the most tank friendly point. You can get hit from many places. As 82nd AD learns the hard way that it is, <laughs> you can't really cross to the north there. I don't, they tried it the first time it worked, but it, they, they couldn't sustain on point. And this time, I mean, Daito essentially wipes their whole squad with Fatigles. Daito gets two or three, Fatigles gets one or two. And that's, that's the push. That push started about, you know, five to 10 minutes ago on the south down here. And they worked their way up. They're going to need to have to pull something else out. Definitely try to switch it up to the north. Um, they'll have more success for sure, for sure. Now, Reese has managed to sneak onto point right here. Very, very sneaky. I hope he doesn't start shooting until his full squad's in here. 
He's gonna go for. Is he having issues there? There we go. He already has his OP up. What sneakiness is this circle squad gonna get up to right here? <clears throat> I think Mordecai has spotted him out. Reese is gonna go on the other side of the building here. Let's go on board. Yeah, Mordecai picks off that OP. Now Reese is gonna have to fall back and replace it because he's oh why'd you bring me inside the building, Reese? So he's gonna have to sit for a little bit to get a new OP up. You got Kendrick, you got Cap also in here. Circle's gonna put some pressure on the fourth right here with 30 minutes to go in this Greyhound night. Jaren Sofa defending on the south side, Kendrick here. Gets the easy peek onto the sofa. Kendrick under machine gun fire. Going to look maybe for a plant of a satchel onto this building right here. At the same time, there is a tank coming back up over here. It's going to be a Panzer IV looking to clear. Reese stays up, though. Does not reveal his position. Now, I'm thinking that there is a satchel planted on this building. No. No satchel whatsoever. And no infantry left in the building either. On the north side, a tank has gone down. It's going to be a panther peeking into what looks like a 76 there. On the north, you can see right below the camera. Yeah, 76 going down. So panther's gaining some superiority in terms of tanking. Can they translate this to cap progress? I mean, same Mergulies is hard. Very, very tough. The, the crucial thing here is to have the infantry come with you. They need infantry with them. Madison makes the unfortunate decision to come around that corner at the wrong time. Now there is... Oh, there is another 76 or another tank down the road. Now, one panther does make it across, so it's going to be a 2v1 on either side of the church right here. Unfortunately for that first panther, I think Alex is going for the plant. No. There is AT on it, though. Shifty right behind it also. That panther's in trouble. It takes one shot to the back. This 76 should have an easy time in taking it out. And down it goes, the first panther. Not ideal to fight at the church as a tanker, as the Axis. Uh, something the Axis probably should have done with those tanks is left one facing south on the road and push the second up here to the north side. Uh, the north is really where you cap the point from, this little compound where Truma is. Now, if one of those tanks is up here, or both of them even is covering, you get some AT to cover your butt. You can be pretty successful. Uh, what's happening now, though, is this northern force is actually getting pocketed. You can see Alex, Bleehat, Kendrick all kind of pushing up north. Uh, this is going to be trouble for the Axis. They are split and divided. They're trying to go for an airhead again on this north side. That is not going to work. They don't have control. Now, Pang Pang is going to have to pull off an amazing uh, couple frags right here. If he, if he wants to take this out, no. Not going to be able to. No artillery. Um, gun run comes in. Misses everyone too late. Looking back on the arty, there is nobody back here on the arty. If I'm commander, I'm going to respawn and get on the arty and throw a couple smoke and a couple HE at that before I drop the airhead. Why, why not, right? What, what is the commander doing right now? What is he doing right now? I don't see him on the map. Maybe he got taken out. I don't know. Regardless, 
why not why not throw a a couple he's and a couple smokes at that at least when it lands i mean there's only one person looking at it right now there's a garrison right there the reality is it's probably never going to go up anyways but uh yeah unfortunate for the axis here they're doing the right thing in attacking the north side but they just don't have any support now both uh i mean the i think both of the, the panthers are down i can check i think there's one more panther left and i can at least hear a panther if not see one he's on the south side right here oh no that's another 76 so 276 and and 175 one medium i'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that the other panther actually fell back or got destroyed yeah i don't see anything there cleaned up very cleanly the axis are actually losing the fourth point right here um it looks like a 50 50 almost for point panther pulling up to try and help defend matai's gonna take control of that southern house big respawn wave comes onto the point right here only one dropping there two tanks here though those 76s need to push up and support this attack if they want it to, to go smoothly Axis look to have stopped the bleeding for a second there. Ooh, Stalic just getting really unlucky with that first rocket. Uh, missing on the backside. Let's go on board for the second one. He's going to rotate for a try for better position. Ooh, that Lux is looking though. If I was him, I'd go for that first. Go for that first Panther first. that engine of the panther unless there is a precision strike coming in oh yeah there is down goes the panther silex makes the right decision there of course we can't see that on the map we can only see the axis side unfortunately um, does no damage to the lux right here now what he could do is is go behind the lux i don't know if it's three crude it is he could go behind the lux and pretend to plant a satchel really quick and then use and try and bait out one of the crew for 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 a takedown on the commander if he's not going to do that i think he should just respawn and come back in with another rocket or a satchel no point in staying on on point there unless his op is down no point in staying there even even if you're capping like that you want to have those resources available looks like he does go down in the end Chang gonna be going trying to get a satchel onto this Lux right here. Brondico also from the north side. Ooh, Lux is in trouble. Might see a run out from the commander right here. Brondico gonna go for the rocket. Actually takes himself out. Down goes the engine of that tank, though. Gonna have to hop out and repair. Brondico just a little too close. Well, I don't even think they're gonna make it. Oh, hold the phone. Puma on the backside here goes down oh no there's a 76 coming up behind puma thought he had an amazing flank unfortunately the 76 is gonna say not today looks gonna absolutely start hammering the front side of that medium tank burn desperately trying to repair right there Ooh, and another 76 from the left side gonna take that one out I don't even, I didn't even see where this tank was. It wasn't the first one flanking. It was another one on the road up there. That's a 76 on the north side there from Chill, uh, Communix and Indy. My gosh, rough times here for the Axis. They're going to drop the fourth point. It is going to be 4-1 here for the Allies after a really long hard fought point. I mean, battles back and forth on the midpoint, on the fourth point. Unfortunately, the Allies are going to come out ahead in this one.
Now with 20 minutes to go, still ample time to come back into this game. But the Axis are going to have to find another gear here if they want to get back into it. There was a 76 on the north side. Not too sure where he went. Oh, he's still there. Oh, no. Chill music. Scipio coming in for the satchel. Now, there is a bombing run also coming in, too. Shun is coming back down from the backside. Precision strike coming in. Bombing run going to drop. Down goes one of the tanks with the precision strike. Shun is a madman running into the whole team right here. Gets one. Looking for some more. Going to see Spike. No. Yes. Yes, he is. Gets two. Chartou. Not going to go down, though. And also, only the medium going down, I believe, here. The 76 still on the front of point. <clears throat> Bombing run not going to do a whole lot. As for the second tank back here. Tipio gets the whole crew. Kyer's the last one alive on it. Is the satchel down? Can't quite tell. The tank's taking damage. The satchel is down. Kyer maybe can repair it. No, it is going to be going down here. Down goes the tank. Nice play. Now, where did that shot come from? Because I feel like it came from this way. It must have. More damage coming into the 76 right here. From where? From where? Oh my gosh. That is far away. Kearney, Ernest, and Achilles here in the Panzer IV from absolutely downtown. So they get one. They're not able to get the second one there. Of course, the first one was decrewed there. Good play by Scipio from 82nd AD to decrew that a complete tank. Um, there's also an engineer involved in that one, too. I'm not too sure what his name was or who he was. From the backside here, though, there is still like a, a DC member. 91 DKs here on point. He does go down finally, though. 76 is, is still up. That precision strike only taking out one of the tanks now. Oh, the DC actually have an OP over here. Interesting. The OP looks to be still up. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Okay. So DC infantry squad here. Potential of six on the backside of point. I don't think. I mean, this has got to be marked out, right? Truma. Going to look to rotate that OP maybe a little bit. Not really much place to rotate it, to be honest, though. If Truma can stay alive right here. That's a big F. Now, if he can stay alive here. Oh, gets one. Um, he could potentially keep that OP up indefinitely back here. That'll be a huge play. OP's not ideal position right now. Really, it's in a, in a space where they can fight out of. It's not going to get overrun by somebody casually running through the, the street. Finally, Truma does go down, though. Pang Pang's still fighting. Dopex not going to know exactly where that OP is. Anyone DK takes out Dopex here. This is a good little play from, from Truma's squad to keep it alive. I think Flex and uh, Judge are both rotating towards this one. Oh, they miss it. Oh, please don't shoot, Fl Fluff. Please don't shoot. You're just going to bait people onto the OP. Move off the OP before shooting. Truma does get picked off right on the OP, unfortunately. Uh, Fatalee is going to pick up that takedown. Buff goes for the smoke. He goes down. Fatalee's Wabi both going to be pushing in and taking out this OP. Truma does get up, though. Nice smoke. Honestly, wow. I was doubting that smoke, but that smoke just saved Truma and, and 91 DK. That was a that was a big brain smoke grenade, if I've ever seen one. Truma gonna be able to rotate off this one. I, I would love to see him go for that OP placement kind of over here. And the backside. 
Oh, Truma with a triple kill there. He's going to be rotating out. Where can he get this new OP? He's going to have to rotate the OP because it's it's being closed in on right now. It's marked out. Where can he rotate to do all the way all the way on the other side of the point? That's not bad, honestly. Not a, not a bad idea. He doesn't get spotted out. And just like that, DC is still on point. I don't know exactly where he's going with this one. He's going to put it out on the outside over here. Push back into point. There's still a lot of allies on point, honestly. It's going to take um, some artillery or a bombing run to really displace them. Dopix coming from behind to clear out with Law and Tub. I think this DC squad's kind of on their last breath here. There's there's so many there's so many allies back here. Uh, ooh, that 76 just went down. Let's go over to Curdy to see if we can see his POV of the takedown. Ah, uh, well, we're not going to get a POV from Curdy of the takedown because he is not in armor right now. That is somebody else. Uh, to Chang gonna be pushing for this OP right here. He knows where it is. On a beeline right now, Vaddy Fluff gonna have to fight right off the get-go. This is gonna be a difficult spawn here for the DC crew. As they get closed in on, their spawn is going to be overrun there by Delru. And that was like kind of like the last hope, I think, for the DC crew. If they, if they would have gone in the middle, maybe they would have been able to. I mean, Wontub is, is checking there. Mokana is going to be coming back in to try and do something on the backside. But nothing really going. No position on point right now. And... Honestly, I think the allies are pretty content to hold position over here. There's a little bit of a defensive line back. Nothing too major. Nothing nothing too much going on over here. Now, one of the armor pieces on the north side here just went down. So another 76. So actually, Axis have the armor advantage right now. 100% they do. Really balanced armor game also. You, you know, both teams trading blows with, with armor back and forth. Checking the map to see the Axis armor yet. Panther on the north side there. Probably the one who claimed the kill onto that 76. And then a medium up the middle. The Panther is going to be the 38th Panther with Alice uh, Krauterman and Cake. A uh, Krake. Sorry, Krake. Krake, Krake. I don't know. You can let me know in the chat if I'm saying it wrong. Apologies. Here on a Western approach. Yeah, look at, look at this red zone activity. It looks really good on the map. But when we get into game, you just see the positions and it becomes kind of a realization sinks in that it's, yeah, it's not going to work from the front like this. The axis are going to need artillery, smoke on point specifically, uh, tanks pushing, which is dangerous because the, the allies can pull 76s and park them on the left, on the right side. Um, they'll be parking them, you know, up here in the road. Uh, over here on this little side road there um, even just straight down the road in the middle they can do it on the south side too over there so there's so many angles that as an axis tanker it's, it's so hard to push into this point uh, when you're down four four one like this what what works yeah like pushing across the field can work with tank support if you also have smoke up and let's say you bombing run from your position or in front of your position towards the point that could work uh, but they're gonna have to hurry because 11 minutes left to go it's two minutes for each point that is uh not a lot of time left in this one in two minutes of continuous capping 
So a total four minutes of continuous capping. Um, we're closing in on, you know, seven mi minutes of playing time left in the game. <clears throat> and not many teams can do two different points with, uh, you know, continuous capping on both. So it's kind of getting to the crunch time right here for the Axis. They're going to have to use these next assets very, very uh, smartly. Looking at the... Oh, apologies. Looking at the map, they don't have a lot of fuel left. They don't have a lot of munitions left, and they don't have a lot of manpower either. So Commander staying on top of his of his assets. Unfortunately, in this position, you want to have a lot more than that um, at the end of the game. To be able to do something, make a difference, really. Ally's going to be dropping... Some munitions into point. Some ammunitions. What can the Axis do here, though? I mean, the Circle's doing a good job of, of denying them a, a clean push out. As soon as they come out of cover here, they're, they're taken down immediately. Really, the, the tanks need to be just kind of throwing caution to the wind right here. This Panther sitting back. This Panzer IV sitting back. Not going to win them the point. There, there's guaranteed there's a 76 somewhere here. Probably over here, over here. Pushing up to face them on the middle of the point. So the fact that they haven't tried pushing yet. It, once the 76 gets here, I mean, it's going to be gonna be lights out all those issues of where are they peeking from are gonna to come to a reality like two really good plays are gonna to have to come off here it's gonna to have to be an attack at the same time a bombing run and then an airhead at st mary glees once they've captured western approach if they don't capture western approach though it's still gonna end you know three two or even four one so we'll see what they can do in these last minutes here we could actually even go on board with the panzer IV here of uh of ernest curdy and achilles To put a nail in the coffin, here is the Stewart from behind. Chill Music, Communix, and Indy. They get the takedown on the Panzer IV from behind. I'm very, very surprised that that infantry squad wasn't able to spot this out or, or call it out earlier. Uh, DC going to get two rockets into the back of that Stewart. Surprised it didn't go down first time. That's a heavily damaged Stewart. Uh, another rocket into the front there. That is going to be the end of this one, though. Uh, with the allies going on the flank, breaking up that attack. They're, the Axis are not going to be able to kickstart anything right here. Little Stuart running for its life now. Stuart Little. Going to try to get out of there and repair. I don't know how. 
How is the steward still running it? Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Panzer IV. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the steward thought if he could stay still that the Panzer IV wouldn't notice him, and I think it almost worked out. Oh, almost. And maybe if the steward went a little faster to go behind there, he could have tried and got behind for, for a couple shots. But, I mean, uh, that was... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All righty. The, the heat turns up here on the attack for the fifth point. It looks like Luxes and, and Panzer Force are the only things that the Axis really have. Sengir, Picasso, and Burn are going to do their own version of what we just saw the, the steward do. Unfortunately, the Lux... Really can't do anything to anything. Like, the, the tank is just severely gimped. Uh, there's a 76 on the left that they're going to see, but hope that it doesn't see them. Uh, they're just going to yeet it in full send into the point. Why not? Five minutes left to go. Your team has no position on the point. Oh, 76 is definitely looking now. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 don't, don't go there. Just escaping the 76 right here. Not too sure what the Lux is going to do. They got to keep moving. Oh, rockets almost hitting them here. Well, I'll be smart to hold this rocket there. Puik is going to go on the backside for another rocket. So that was two rockets into the backside. Kills it. Funny how the steward doesn't go down with the same number. Direct hits into the back. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was only two. Maybe even three, one to the side. But that steward took two to the back and one to the front. And it, it didn't go down with the two to the back instantly. Odd to see. Uh, <laughs> is that an airhead? No, it's German munitions dropping on the point. Um, I, I guess the memes it's trying to trying to distract them. If I was him, I would drop them at the same time. Nobody even noticed the munitions, by the way. That could have been an airhead dropped on point, and I don't think anybody would have noticed. Nobody notices this airhead either. Three minutes to go. Not enough time to win the game, but they might just have enough time here to spawn everybody on this airhead and go for the point. Please don't tell me that you saw this judge. No, nobody saw this. This is going to be the whole team respawning on the airhead right here and pushing for this point. Three minutes to go. One minute, 20 seconds to start capping. Can the Axis crawl back into this one with a 3-2 on the game? Well, we'll find out. We're waiting for this massive spawn wave to come in right here. Let's go all right about 20 people spawning in here one minute exactly to start capping there's the challenge on the point it's contested no cap progress yet kindrick wanatubbies and samaya are going to realize oh crap there is a lot of access behind us boys they're here 46 seconds to go allies should just re respawn everyone back here there's no point Another spawn wave comes in. 35 seconds to start cap progress. There it starts. This much might just be a 3-2. We might even have a cap race for the last point. The Axis, I mean, <laughs> are going to probably take this one, 3-2, unless Charter and Del Ruo on the backside can hit the airhead. Charter. Sees the spawn wave coming in a perfect position here. Sangir gonna challenge. He goes down. Truma's the last one up. Shartu gonna peek it again. Gets Truma too. Oh my gosh. Is he oh, but he does go down from the backside. KPE with the protection on the back of the airhead here. 50% cap progress for the axes. Why couldn't they have done this like 20 minutes ago? Nah, I'm just memeing. There was many more defenders on point then. But this is going to end a 3-2. You know what? Props to the Axis for, for leaving it to the last minute here. Unfortunately, they couldn't get both points. But, 
you know, you got to give them props for for throwing everything at the at the fourth here to take it back from the allies. Allies would need like a bombing run and their own airhead to stop it. And I don't even think that would be enough at this point. Uh, this one is most likely going to end a 3-2 here. Half track comes in also. Oh, it's unfortunate that there isn't like an overtime and they drove that half track to the midpoint. Because if that was the case, then if there's uninterrupted cap progress or, or even like uh, contested, they might have been able to win this one. That's something I would love to see. Just give us the option. Uh, this one is going to end, though, with a 3-2. Cap race not working out for the Allies. Axis get a sneaky airhead on the backside um, to take this fourth point back for their side. With 39 seconds to go, though, it happens about a minute and a half too late here. Uh, we're seeing a massive redeploy from the Allies. They're not going to be able to take back the point. But for style points, they might be able to do something and get a few extra takedowns for their score. Uh, this Greyhound night has been fun. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the cast, you can subscribe for free with Prime. Uh, you can also, you know, give me a shout out. Share this video when it comes out on YouTube. Chill in chat for the matches that we have here. Another one or two tomorrow. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining us though.